Cadillac Super Cruise in operation. As you can see, I'm on the uh, northbound Sawmill Parkway. Pretty windy uh, road here. I wasn't sure that uh, Super Cruise was going to engage here on this Cadillac CT6, and it is uh, pretty inarguably the closest thing to full autonomous driving in the business today, and that includes Tesla's autopilot because this has a driver monitoring system. Right now, this Cadillac is looking at my eyeballs with infrared uh, camera and a secondary sensor to make sure that I'm keeping my eyes on the road. And as long as I have my eyes on the road, it is a serious look, ma, no hands. Oh, it's flashing at me. Oh, oh, yes, yep, 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 see? And as you can see there, the, the rim of the steering wheel flashed red. It said, Super Cruise disengaging, take control. And that's what's so great about this. It's a really clear system. There's no confusion about when I need to drive and when the car is going to drive. When Super Cruise is available, it shows a little wheel icon and now it's on. The rim is on. As long as that wheel rim is green, I'm, then I'm good. The system's a little bit timid about when and where it'll operate, but it's erring on the side of caution because it doesn't want to get into those situations that those weird transition periods that really are the real obstacle in the movement from lower level advanced driver assistance systems to full autonomy. And that's the thing, the issue of drivers checking out, being lulled into a false sense of security. You look away from this thing for very long at all and it's going to shut down. And I've already heard a few people say, well, what's the point then? Well, the point is we need to be clear in these systems on when they're safe to use. The reason Super Cruise can be confident about where it works is because Cadillac, unlike any automaker, is using LiDAR-based mapping, very, very detailed mapping, so it has great confidence when it really does understand the road environment around it. The negative is that not every road is mapped. For one, it's definitely only highways that have ramps on and off. And look at it, Super Cruise is shutting off, doesn't like what I'm doing. So now we're trying it again here. And Super Cruise is right back in action. Let go of the wheel and I'm gone.